Alrighty, hey guys, just want to make another video and uh, today's video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer some of you guys questions, right? Because again, a lot of que questions regarding the uh, Max Pro because this is a very popular product at the moment and there's very few video videos on YouTube actually explaining to you in real life uh, how this works, right? So I decided why not just put it all into one video. So here's the first question I get asked quite a lot is can this actually build muscle? The answer to that question is an absolute yes and I'm not, look, this is so good, man. I'm getting rid of my Neuroflex spells. Can you show them what they look like? Okay, so I'm getting rid of those. Those are quite famous as well. Um, this is extremely effective at building muscle, right? Especially when you get to the higher resistance levels. And, and when, I, when I say effective, I'm going to say this, okay? Is when I actually feel it, right? I can feel it tearing the muscle. That's when I knew that, I mean, holy shit, this definitely works, right? And let me tell you what the most effective exercises that work for me on this machine is bench press, incline press, military press, deadlifts, squats. They all work extremely well while using this machine, okay? Now, if your goal is to build muscle and stimulate hypertrophy or muscle growth, right? I keep saying this, you need to have the right training program in place. What do I mean by that? Well, let me give you an example of what I did this morning, okay? I did chest, tries and shoulders. So what do I do? I did four sets, of, four sets of bench press, four sets of incline press, four sets of military press on very high resistance, right? Four sets of flies, and I also did four sets of um, tricep pushdowns, right? On, on each side for each arm. And pretty much after that, I was pretty much stuffed. <laughs> okay, this replaces the gym, no problem whatsoever. But you've got to figure out what exercises work for you because there's quite a few that don't work for me. For me. Let me give you an example. Lat pull down doesn't work for me for some reason. I keep trying to do it, I just don't feel it, right? And this is what you're going to discover with this device is that some of these exercises are not going to work for you, right? How it might work for someone else, it didn't work for me, okay? So that's the first question. Can it build muscle? It's an absolute yes. Absolute yes. I love this a lot, okay? Now, the second question I get asked is, what happens when you put it to, if you attach it to the wall like this, what happens when you crank the resistance above level 20, right? Even though I can't even lift this off the wall, does it end up damaging the wall? What ends up happening to it? Well, let me show you what it looks like. So, shout can come up, come closer. Right, when you get to high levels of resistance, what ends up happening is that this happens. Can you see that there? Yeah. The reason why that happens is because they, they only give you one strap, right? And you need actually two straps. You need one strap for the top, one strap going through the bottom mm. here, and then there would be no movement whatsoever. And in fact, look at this, I'll do some cable crossovers, and you see how easy, even on low resistance, this even still happens. I'll do it on nine, for example. Yeah. Can you see it? Can they see? Mm, can you feel yeah. it? You see how it's coming off the wall? You can see it, um, yeah. Right, so just imagine, this is on, on, on 9 resistance. Imagine me having it on level 20 or above, right? It's going to keep slapping the wall big time. Now, the question here also asked is, can it, can, if you crank it up to higher resistance levels, can you actually end up damaging the product? In my opinion, well, uh, I've only been able to, I can only do level 20, okay? I can't even go beyond that. Maybe you can. So I don't know what happens when you go to the absolute maximum. But what I do know is this, is that if you're constantly in the heavy resistance range, you may come across a problem like I did this morning, is that what ends up happening, and this is why I suggest this to everybody, before you start your workout or the night beforehand, make sure that both sides have the equal or the same amount of resistance, okay? That's what I've noticed, because when you keep constantly lifting heavy, sometimes when it curls back the cord, it, it creates this uneven resistance. You're like, what the hell? Because like, you, like you'd be using a barbell, and this would be like this, and this would be here. You're like, what the hell's going on? So to fix that problem, right? Because everyone keeps asking this, you need an Allen key. Can you go up close? This is what you need. This is the exact same size. Come up to the side here, shot. It's very easy to recalibrate or fix this. And what you do is you put the Allen key in here. Okay, I'm not going to do it now, but you turn that loose, and then you just feel it out. And until you find the, the right resistance level, and then you just adjust the dial. There's a video on it, because oh, like, this will take too long. Go on to Max Pro's Fitness YouTube channel. They show you how to do it. It is so easy. It's less than two minutes to recalibrate the resistance to make sure that both sides have the same amount of resistance when pulling it. I'd say you probably have to do, they probably have to do that over time in gyms, because you find that the ones that have 
um, the cable part, they yeah. get they get a bit taut, like it's almost sticky on the yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's what you're also going to notice too is when you first get this. Um, although this is uh, he, he says this anyway, and it has it, when you get this, it's in the manual, it says it quite clearly that when you get this, you'll, you'll be like wobbly, you'll be like, do, 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 and you're like, what the hell. And so the brake pads that are inside this need to be smoothened out. Mine's been smoothened out. That's why there's not much unevenness. Now, what does this look like if I try to do bench press? A lot of people want to find this out. So check. Okay, so take it there. Okay. And that's the strap that um, holds it in place. Yeah. So what you need, if you're going to use this for bench press, you need a towel or, or something like that to go over top of this. And this is why I said it takes time to set this up. That's why I would tell So why do you put the towel there, just so just, people know? Uh, to stop it damaging or get, ripping off the paint and stuff like that. Now, to set this up for your bench press, because this is, especially if you're doing high resistance, it's really hard to lift it from this point, because, um, what do you call it? Um, physics is working against you because of the leverage. So what you need to do is you need to pull this out to about here. Then there's these locks. That, see that lock there? It does that even this side out and then then okay it's almost even then you can crank this up let's say I'll just do 10 for now 10 and then if you come around the front oh the side if they can see it yeah just a good angle of it and I can go like this although this is just an example okay beforehand I want to make sure that this is even um, that's just to show you guys. What Could you use the bar or do you think yeah. it's better with that? Yeah, so, oh, we, give me a sec, hold up. So this is what it looks like here on level 10. Now, I prefer to use the bar than this, okay? The reason why I prefer to use the bar is because sometimes the cord can go and get, dig into your arm. Can you see that there? Come, come up behind my arm shot. Look at the cord. Oh, you yeah. See it, see it there? Yeah. And when you've got high resistance levels, it becomes really tough. Now, this is re really good um, when you use the handles for bench press and climb press because it's very fast at changing. But look what happens when I use the bar, which is what I prefer to use. And the reason why I use the bar is because I can feel it big time. So I'm going to grab the bar over here. That's it over here, right? And this is what I talk about. Um, it takes a lot of setup time. And that's why I do it the night beforehand, so there's no dicking around if I'm, after I've done my run in the morning and get straight into it. So, let's just crank this to one, crank this to one, and then what you need is come up to the front chart so they can see it. Even then there's probably a need more than this. This is the toughest part, is the setting up part. That's why I said this was an um, 8 out of 10, not a complete 10 out of 10, for this reason. So, you need to figure out, I'll just do it on one, so I can figure out if I've got enough. Okay, have I got enough to deal with? So what you do is you can set it to about um, here, and that's what I do, and then you just go like this, and then, Get down like that. Then you can crank up the resistance. Let's say I do 10, for example. It's on 10. But even then, if you're going to use a bar, it's very, very tough. Because you have to get it above you like this. Now, to see how this is not quite measured out perfectly, okay? Like, because you can see how I, I prefer to have the bar down here with all the tension. Not here, but this is just to show you, okay? You see that there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, but like I said, what I would do is I would even this out a bit, because even to me that's not enough. But yeah, so this is the honest truth, I'm not, I'm not like making this up, I just want to show you what it looks like, so. See what I'm saying? Yeah. And you put underneath you like that. So hopefully that answers your question. That's why I say that. that this <laughs> yes, is just, thank you. Yeah, this is just an example. But when I, last night, I measured this out perfectly. So I knew when I jumped on it this morning, 
That way I have so much tension down here, mm. I can push it up. And, and that's I'm, what you want to do. Yeah, and I can only do 15. Up. Level uh, My max bench at the moment on, is on 15. I felt it uh, massively. However, you can see when I set this up, what was easier? Do you think that was it the barbell or was it the handles? The handles are easier. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'd probably use the handles. So hopefully this answers your questions. Um, but you need the right training program, okay? So like I, like I said this morning, um, I did four sets of bench press, four sets of incline press, four sets of military press on heavy resistance, four sets of flies, four sets of tricep pushdowns, and I was screwed, right? And I, I lift weights for, I've been lifting weights for over a whole year, and when I say to you that this can replace the gym, I'm not, I'm not joking. It can. If you have the right training program, you'll definitely build muscle with this. Hope that helps. Bye. See ya.